October is the second busiest month of the year at Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Just behind July, WATE 6 on your side reporter Ella Wales visited the park today to learn what brings people in from around the country. Fall foliage in Great Smoky Mountains National Park reaches its peak color in October, drawing visitors from all parts of the U.S. Brandon Hong recently visited Glacier National Park in Montana, but came to Tennessee for the fall colors. The foliage is much nicer here than in Glacier, but um, the amount of people here is also very nice too. Uh, you can talk to great people from North and South Carolina or Georgia. Hong says being in nature is a great stress reliever. I do it because I need to unplug from my work. Uh, it keeps me grounded and um, it keeps me at peace. For Chuck Ryder, the Smoky Mountains were at the top of his travel list. We retired from the Postal Service last year, so we wanted to travel, and this is the first place we picked. He and his wife traveled from Philadelphia to see the park at its peak colors. Uh, we're nature lovers. We love hiking the trails, seeing the, you know, hopefully we don't run into any bear, but there's bear here, and, and the wildlife are all nice, all pretty neat to see. Heather Weatherford recently moved to the area from Detroit, giving her friends a great reason to come visit. I had been visiting for 20 years and decided two years ago to settle in Knoxville. Um, being an hour from the park was a huge draw. Um, I love fall, love the foliage. Um, Karen also does too, so we thought that this would be a great girls trip. They described visiting the park as a grounding experience. We'll be back. We'll be back. In Sevier County, Ella Wales, WATE 6, on your side. <laughs> Now, as you may know, the park is open every day of the year and there's still time to catch the fall colors.